on. What is Patrick Beverly doing? This Your man is setting a cross screen. You need to get attached to your man. Look at this. You need to be here. So when this player comes through, you're going to jam him, knock him off a spot, and give this player time to get on the other side. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously a mismatch, Pascal Siakam and Alex Caruso in the post. Now, Patrick Beverly is coming down to help, okay? But if you're Alex Caruso, you got to force him into this help. See, look, at Alex Caruso isn't forcing him anywhere, so Beverly comes to help. It, pff, it doesn't matter. Vucevic, you can't just keep backpedaling on Pascal Siakam. you got to get up. Again, DeMar DeRozan's right here, so if, you, if you're worried about getting beat off the dribble, then just force him right there. But look at this. I mean, look at how low you're letting Pascal Siakam get on the floor without any resistance. Run and drop coverage, which the Bulls are, you got to force this guard here, Fred Van Vliet, and this is where your drop comes from because you want this player rolling this way because then this player can step up and backside help. This player slides down, and if a skip pass is made, you're just rotating here, and this player's rotating back here. But look at this. You're running drop coverage, and this player really can't step up here because now there's, there's not a second defender, and this player can just roam freely on the baseline. Look at this. Why is Kobe White so far underneath here? His man is here. So get up the line. He's trying to be in the gaps, which is a great idea, but get up the line and do it. Look at this. What it, Right now, if you're up the line here, now this dribble gets picked up and I can easily recover. But you're so far down, it's in, you're in the paint now. Can't see it, but you know what's happening. This player for the Bulls fell asleep on his man. I mean, this is the only way that this distance happens right here, and you're not even level to him. So, yeah, you give up an open three. Patrick Williams right here. Okay, why are you not playing up on Scotty Barnes? There is 2.7 seconds left on the shot clock. Someone should let him know that, I guess, if he doesn't know. But why are you playing off? Like, wh There's no reason. Okay, if you're Io DeSumo here, you've got to get underneath OG Ananobi. Battle for real estate, initiate contact. Look at this. Io DeSumo, first of all, you're not battling for real estate at all. You're letting OG Ananobi get too low on the floor, and then you actually never get underneath OG Ananobi. So he just rips and goes and draws a double, and there it is. So Io DeSumo's beat here, okay? Stop. So if you're Io DeSumo, you cannot just stand. You can't just stand guarding air. You have to be ready to rotate. So this player's going here, this player here. You are going here, okay? Look at Io DeSumo standing. That's it. Okay, again, where's your drop coverage? You got the drop coverage here has got to, you got to force this guard here and the big's got to be dropping this way, okay? Look at this, stop. Right now you're forcing Siakam here and Vucevic is going here because now off of this roll, there's no, I mean, the literally the backside defender standing and waiting, okay? But I mean, look at this. <laughs> you run drop coverage this way, there's, there's, you, this player can't leave and come all the way up here because this player can just roam the baseline. So, again, where is your drop coverage going? So right here, you got to force Van Vliet here and you want this big drop in here because this big can't just keep backpedaling, okay? He's going to have to stop at some point, so I need backside help. So that means that if Van Vliet comes this way, this player's rolling right into a backside defender. But look what happens when the drop coverage this way. There is no backside defender, and Vucevic just has to keep backpedaling. So right here, the question is, what is Alex Caruso doing? Scotty Barnes just picked his dribble up. He just picked his dribble up. So why is Alex Caruso going to be standing here then? Get back to your man. Look at Alex Caruso. What are you... The dribble is picked up. What? Okay, so actually in this situation, off this handoff, this drop coverage is fine. Zach Levine's right here. So Zach Levine should already be moving over. you got to get in the gaps here because, again, there's no backside help on this area of the floor. So look at this. If Zach Levine is where he's supposed to be, which is way over here, now Vucevic can start dropping because there's no place for Van Vliet to go. You're going to get the dribble picked up so I can just stunt and easily recover. But Zach Levine's nowhere to be found, so Vucevic now steps up, and again, there's no backside help. What's going on here? Uh, nothing is okay with whatever the Bulls are planning on doing. You can't go under a screen like this when there's this much space to go over. You're just going too far under. 
Now, I, is that is that what Alex Crusoe is doing, or is he waiting for a switch? Because if he's waiting for a switch, then DeRozan needs to be here. So the Bulls make mistakes no matter what they're trying to do here. Right here, what, what is mistake? What is Kobe White doing? This is your man. Stay level to him. Kobe White does the opposite. Where is he going? What? So, um, yeah, you give up an open three. Desumu right here, you cannot lean towards the screen. Look at him leaning towards the screen. You can see it right there. You're leaning towards the screen. You're going to get beat the other way. Okay, look at Andre Drummond here. Just guard Gary Trent, be in a defensive stance. Look what Drummond does. Look at this gamble. How are you going to guard Gary Trent now? You're not. You're out of position. Okay, we got a cross screen right here. What is Drummond doing? You need to be attached to your man. When this player comes through the cross screen, you just jam him to knock him off his spot, let this player on the other side, and you're right here. You don't do what Drummond does, which is look at this. Drummond's going to drop off here, okay, to help. So now your man's just going to flare to the three-point line and be wide open. If Andre Drummond's coming to double here, then Kobe White needs to get out of the paint. There's no, You're just standing in no man's land. Here comes a double team. Okay, get out here, because look what needs to happen then. See, if you're where you're supposed to be, which is up here, on this kickout pass, you're sliding over here. Okay, then this player comes here and Drummond just goes here. But Kobe White's in no man's land. Andre Drummond's got to understand when he's not getting an offensive rebound. Okay, Scotty Barnes has this ball here. So the only thing you should be doing is sprinting back to make sure you're ahead of the ball. Look at Drummond. Where is he going right now? And why is he delaying sprinting back? So, ugh. so Vucevic comes down to double and vacates his man in the corner. Okay, so DeMar DeRozan needs to stay home. There, You do not need to go to the ball. We don't need three people guarding the ball. Right here. Now, this when this kickout pass gets made, this player rotates here, but DeRozan's got to rotate, and then Vucevic flies up, or this player comes up and Vucevic goes here. But the, wh where's the... St look at DeRozan. Where are you on the second rotation? So... Pfft.